Popper Dodd Gunner, and Yundi. So, Adam, what are you thinking as far as prediction? Uh, man, going into tonight, I just peeped the results when you're talking about them. Napoli's coming off a big win against top of the table Barcelona, 3 1 win, and Newcastle hasn't played a game tonight. They had a road walkover versus Ajax. So having the confidence boost, I think I'm going to go Napoli on this one. Very close affair. I feel like Yad's going to get the winner at 1-0. Okay. Fair enough. So you're thinking close affair. I am. You know, I, 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 <laughs> what do we got in the chat? The chat's popping off from what I'm seeing here. We got 4-2 Newcastle, 3-1 Napoli, 4-3 Newcastle, 4-2 Napoli, we got 3-0 Napoli, hat trick from Big Juice. Love it. <laughs> and then uh three one in favor of napoli as well as another one that just came in so pretty really... split affair but i'm i uh, i mean we saw what yeah could do last time they were in the marquee matchup scored that amazing skill run down the wing and back yeah. to goal against wolves kind of did it himself that whole that whole run there yep. uh, i really fell in love with that name big juice so I, if he brings a yep. hat trick tonight i'll be the most excited person in this room so we didn't see we didn't hear too much of his name last game day but maybe with this formation change i believe they had a formation change from last game to this one so uh it'll be good to see it'll be interesting Shots to see juice out. i'm thinking it's gonna be a high scoring affair as well i think you know with everything on the line i don't think these teams are gonna hold anything back you know what's the point you know you mm. need to get this um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go four three napoli i think it's i think that's a good prediction i believe you gave one of those out there yep i did i did i was correct in saying that the playoff is only third versus fourth right they don't have the league one where they have the top six basically that's correct that's correct it's only the one okay so yeah this is going to be a big big game for especially napoli with three points back a win here basically puts them right over newcastle on goal difference so yeah, this, and Sunday's the last game day, just so y'all know. Oh yeah, less amount of games, so this is gonna be this is extra huge now. Yeah, three Napoli games. Castle can basically secure the the position with six points clear, unless they have a big blow up and lose both their games. And I don't want to step on your guys' Napoli toes. Right, we're gonna head uh, ourselves here, but Wolves play Fiorentina on Sunday as well. Ooh, should be an interesting be matchup as too. well. Yeah, that would be a title fight right there, depending on how results go. I believe Wolves, yeah, four points clear, so it's going to be a big one, especially Barca looking in, trying to get that last auto-promotion spot. Yeah, it's a little bit closer of a race than I think people expected, so it'll be interesting to see how that finishes out on Sunday. All right, it looks like we go. got a good connection, so hopefully we'll be taking you down to action. We got Newcastle in their white and black, Napoli in their teals, and we are off. So hopefully... Hopefully my prediction's right. Still never been right, so. See how uh, me neither. <laughs> I'm working on it. Eventually. Newcastle now trying to work the ball down. Napoli with some good press. Bosna playing it up to tor Torpedo. Are these? I don't think these are gamer tags. Maldini. I believe. We tried to change that. I guess, I guess it didn't get changed. It didn't look like it got changed. Fair enough. You guys will have no idea who I'm talking about, but it doesn't really matter. Napoli trying to work the ball around to the middle. Newcastle with some nice pressure there, but Napoli gets it right back. Napoli working the ball around here very well. Let's see if Newcastle yeah. can get something going. Seems Game's like they're, they're spacing them out very well here. Let's see if they can create something at that final third. Having a little bit of trouble now, but they keep spacing them out. They'll find some creases. Newcastle now trying to get their own possession. A little bit of sloppy pass there. Napoli might be breaking here. They slow it down just for a second. Kane plays a nice through ball. He's got an opportunity. She was a lead with a nice save. <laughs> save. Oh, man. Oh, he tries to get that through there. Very tight window there, but Newcastle working it up nonetheless. Tries to work a through ball there. It's handled well. Oh, that man's going to need a breather. Newcastle with the ball, working it down this left side. Got some options in the middle, trying to work it around. Nice shot, deflected wide. Oh, off his own man. Yep, off his own man there.
Newcastle with some nice possession here. They've got some options on this left side again. Seeing a little bit of favoritism, but it's working for him so far. Let's see if Marcelo can work it into Turner. Nice little move there. He's got some space. Plays it back post a little too far. But they're working it back around, trying to work it in. They're going to have a corner here. Newcastle with a nice header into the back post, but it's saved easily right to the keeper. Okay, yeah. So far, that Napoli movement's pretty solid so far to try to get forward, but Newcastle showing great counterattack capabilities. Yeah, both teams are working the ball around pretty well, I'd say. Newcastle now trying to work down this left side. A little bit too far ahead there. Napoli's going to have an easy interception and maybe work it around here. Nope, keeper sends it deep. Trying to get these TBs into the game. Got some touches on the ball. Newcastle getting bodies behind the ball. That one passed even near the half circle. Yeah, they, they're playing all 11 back, but not you yeah. know, sitting in their box. They're just pressing everyone, which is what you got to do if you want to get that ball back. Napoli now working this left side. Got a runner down here. He's got a little space. Tries to play it at the top box, but it's handled well by Wayne, who clears it up to Turner. Now Newcastle running on their own right. That was a great look by Napoli there. Trying to find that top box. Not a lot of people mark it. Nice ball in the middle. Plays it right back out. Let's see if they're going to try and work it in here. Nice little one-two. Handled, though, well by Napoli. Ball bouncing around a little bit. Newcastle with a great fluid movement left to right. Napoli just slowing it down a little bit here. Trying to work the ball around, get some possession. Get into Newcastle's half, create opportunity. They got a lot of op options over here on this right side. Maybe try and play back post. It's open. Ah, closed down well by Madini. Good try, taking a long shot, just why? Great shot attempt. Looking for that long ball. Never know what could happen. Yeah, definitely had an option there, just a little bit too far. Nap Newcastle now making a little run after a slapping Napoli play. Ah, oh, he slows it down, perhaps a little too much. Try to work it around for the shot. Ah, that was always going to be blocked, but they get another opportunity off the header. Ooh. It was a great look, great look right there for Newcastle. Sure Tries was. The lead. Just not enough power on that header. Could have got it by him. I believe it was a sloppy giveaway there. Don't want to see that. No. Those are the worst kind of goals against. 100%. Newcastle just slowing it down. Oh, almost gave up an easy shot there. I'm just playing a deep ball to see if they can win it out. They are, but it goes out of bounds. Don't think he's going to be off. Yeah. Oh, offside. Sorry, yeah. Coming up on the 40th minute. Not too many great opportunities, but both teams working around pretty well and had some good shots. Mm -hmm. Good movement from both sides. Haven't really seen a crazy shot test the keeper yet. Right. Primarily just long shots at this point. Napoli working it in, but Mars is able to clear that out. A lot of space on this right wing. Also a kind of runner coming in the middle. It's not able to find him, but he is able to tackle it back into the middle. Nice shot. Nice save. Excellent save by the keeper. Volley top oh, box. And nice save. Oh, another one. This keeper. There we go. Talking about testing the keeper. Now he got something going here. Napoli putting a little bit of pressure on right before half. See if Newcastle can escape. Clear that corner well. And it looks like they'll probably run out the time on this play. See if they can create something of their own. Uh, nothing doing. I think that'll be it. Half will be called here soon. Yeah. Just getting to halftime. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that we will be having the team of the week reveal for week three. 
I forgot to mention that at the beginning of it, but we're going to be doing that at the end of these broadcasts. So far, possession 50-50. Same amount of, well, not same, but similar amount of shots, same amount of shots on target. And pack accuracy is about the same. This game does feel pretty even to me. Just no goals to show for it. Yeah, so far I think the best opportunity came at the very end there for uh, Napoli. Two shots. Uh, Newcastle's keeper just coming up huge in that moment, though. Mm-hmm. So we're seeing some tests on the keeper, so that's good to see. I think the goal might fall here. Yeah, come on, put it away. Give me that prediction. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some goals start flying in this one. Both teams yeah. were, yeah, both teams were knocking on the door there, so I think they'll probably find something that they like on this half. Yeah, especially with everything on the line. You see a goal go in, and it's going to start, a lot of things are going to start opening up both ways, especially. Yeah, I think you'll start seeing an avalanche. Mm -hmm. Keeper tries to find his wide mid, but it's a little too heavy there. It's going to be a Napoli throw in. Bosna finds a nice ball in the middle. Logan steps in there. This opportunity is coming thick and fast, but the defenders are on it right now. They know they don't want to give up anything. Another, th huh? another through ball, but Brooks is able to handle that one. Napoli's trying to test this back line, see if they can find a hole in the middle. It's a good try, good try. Try to see if they can finesse anything into the middle there. Napoli now working back down that right side. Handled well by Newcastle. Newcastle trying to get some possession here, take the pressure off. It's been pretty heavy there. Finding a man in the middle. Keeper's coming out. Off the one work and in. An absolute great run. Great assist. Split the defense right in half and. I mean, you can't say that off the woodwork and in. That is beautifully placed. Can't do anything about that if you're a keeper. That is an absolutely great play by Newcastle. After seeing Napoli just con continuously attack them, and uh, we're going to have to see Napoli attack here to keep their playoffs promotion hopes alive. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Napoli really opens it up here. They had some good chances in that first half. Now with the goal being scored like we were talking about, you might see them press a little bit higher. Could get countered as well. I'd look out for that. Oh, that's huge for Newcastle. They know they could secure that playoff spot. A day with either Barcelona or Fiorentina on the line, really. This result holds. Newcastle giving it up there. Napoli trying to counter them. Not too much doing there. Rightfully slowed it down, get some possession, and ease off their defense for a minute. And a quick yeah, note. they're going to start throwing these. Oh. I believe that uh, that striker that scored is Young Dillionaire. He was one of the key players to look out for, mentioned by uh, Dodd Madden, the manager for Newcastle. Ah. Now we can see a key player, man. Put that ball right on that woodwork. No keeper saving it. No, can't get any better than that. Newcastle now working around again. See if they can get another opportunity here. Slows it down for a second. Just trying to work it in the middle. Uh, sloppy pass there. Napoli may be having their own break here. Napoli just trying to link some pass together. Once they get to this final third, it just feels like it's falling apart for them. Yeah, I'm not sure Newcastle's doing anything spectacular to, to cause that. It seems almost self-inflicted. Yeah, it really is. Just finding the open man. Napoli's got some options in the middle. Looks like I'm oh, going for the big cross. Not sure. That would have been my first idea there, but it might work out for him in the middle here, taking a shot right at the keeper. Yeah, never really going to test the keeper there. Straight at him. Yeah, no trouble for him at all. Nothing right home about. Newcastle just giving the ball away. <laughs> Napoli says, we don't want it. You take it right back. Yeah, take it right back. There's a good ball. Yep, Got yep. options on that right side. Going to play that wing. Man in the middle. Two men in the middle. Three now. One back post. See if they try to work it around. Could go right back to him for the one-two. Oh, no. He's offside. He missed it. 
You missed it, but the player that was outside picks up that ball, ends the attack there. I thought this the guy that was going to get the ball back there and just walk it into the net, really. It would have been one on one with the keeper. Just didn't give it up to him. Napoli now trying to work the ball around, maybe feeling a lot of pressure getting into the 75th minute. The Newcastle putting a lot of pressure on him. He's got two options in the middle. A lot of passing going on here just outside of the box. Nothing creating, though. This Newcastle line has subsequently formed into like a 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. These right mids and left mids pinching into the middle. Playing as kind of like de facto DMs when they're on defense, trying to like absorb every single piece of pressure that they can through that middle. Yeah, it's something you're wanting to do when you get that one goal lead and the game is critical. Just kind of pinch in there and make sure you don't have anything too easy given up. Yeah, from a tactics point of view, it's a great move because that 4 2 3 1, you got four basically four people attacking you. So having those outside mids come back and play into that center role, it's basically sucking out that entire offense they're trying to Nap make uh, Napoli looks like they dropped into a three back they almost got counter there so actually a pretty smart foul to slow that down yeah I mean, some formation changes trying to like move something around Let's see looks like they're going to work around back post not too much there Kane's able to win that header Comes right back though. Uh, handled well by Napoli. See if they can get it out. 82nd minute now. Not too much time left for them if they want to get back in this one. Mm -hmm. Just the movement from Napoli needs to be better in the passing game. 100% right now. Yeah. Uh, five minutes ago, or just about five minutes ago. Great ball here by Newcastle. He's one on one with the defender. Uh, comes into traffic, almost loses it, gets it back, loses it. Unlucky. Newcastle retains possession. Now he's jumping back post. Oh, oh the shot. What was that? <laughs> he could have probably oh. taken a touch, found someone, or tried to sh get a better shot off. But yeah, no real control on that one. Yeah, ambitious effort. He tried. Napoli probably getting into maybe the last opportunity, maybe one more. They're going to have to make the most of it. Kind of sloppy passing. They keep getting the ball back. It's pretty fortunate. Newcastle stacking his defense. Napoli trying to split them apart, though. Napoli's really going to have to push men forward if they're going to want to do it. And they're going to have to start spacing out. A lot of them are just sitting on top of each other. Try Napoli trying to play in the ball in the middle. He comes to free. It's a goal. Header. 90th minute. Equalizer. Keeping their playoff hopes alive. What a hit. He runs through four defenders and just says, this ball's mine. It's a defensive what? collapse there. That center back was just deadlocked on that ball, and he was not letting go. Well 90-minute equalizer. And that's going to do it just in time. Napoli decides to wake up the attack, get that 1-1 one -one draw. Man, absolute peach of a cross split that entire defense open on that wing and just an absolute great cross for that center back to run. I believe that was a center back or someone, someone big and tall <laughs> came in and fired a header into that top right corner. Just able to sweep that in there too because plenty of defenders just one locked on there and he's just static in the middle and mm -hmm. couldn't get up for it. It's going to come down now. That's what it's looking like to that. Last game day for them for Newcastle and Napoli. Three points is going to separate them on who gets that last playoff spot. We might have another marquee matchup on our hands come Sunday. It could be that one or Wolverhampton Fiorentina to decide if Barca can go through or Fiorentina's going through. Uh, or Fiorentina being crowned champions even if Wolverhampton has a, a lapse in points. Within four points, Wolverhampton could get there. Uh, we are not going to do an interview tonight, but as promised, we are going to do the team of the week, get, display the graphics and kind of let you take a chance or take a look at who's really showed, uh, their stuff on this week. This being the third week. Eloquently uh, put, Saul. Yeah, I, I just fumbled <laughs> over all the words there. <laughs> team of the uh, week, boys. Uh, that's what we're gonna look at here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Who are we doing first, Will? Uh, you you decide. I can I can go any direction. 
start from lead two and work our way up, right? All right. Yeah, let's do that. You ready? Three, two, one. Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no. the league dude we got here, player of the week, is going to go to Yad Boyer. Yeah, well I done. So, absolute unit for Napoli. Too bad he couldn't get that goal today. Maybe my prediction right, but I won't hold it against him. <laughs> Ended in a 1-1. And uh, yeah, it's been getting a lot done for them. Five games played, six goals, three assists. Not a ton of uh, games played as far as League Two is concerned, but a lot of familiar faces who people have been making it, you know, a few times already. So mm -hmm. kudos to them. A lot of Logan uh, Wolverhampton players on here as well. Yeah, Wolverhampton absolutely killing it, trying to get that title on Sunday. One yeah. win, I'll secure it. Six players in total, five in the starting lineup. And yeah, not too much of a surprise to see the top, you know, three, four teams there with a heavy majority of the entire starting lineup, I believe. Yeah, everyone from the top, from the team of the week there, starting lineup is from the top four. Yeah, that doesn't come as a surprise at all. The teams that are playing well, mm -hmm. especially in, a, I think it's 12 teams total. You can correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, Will. Yeah, yeah, I believe something like that. 12 teams, yeah. correct. That is the yeah. one. You get most of the, the cream of the crop there from the, the top teams, the Wolverhampton, Napoli, Barcelona. I believe it is all top four. The only discrepancy here is Atletico Madrid getting two guys yeah. to sneak in there. Go Snuck to Trey them in and, there on uh, the bench. Bionic. All right, I think we can move on here to League Two. Or, yeah, League One, sorry. <laughs> we finish League Two. We'll go to League One. Three, uh, two, one. And the player yeah. of the week is Death Row Toll. Absolutely killing it for Valencia this season. As you can see, 13 goals in five games. That's a strike that I want on my team, that's for sure. Yeah, that was one of the things that really stood out to me when I took a look at stats in general for the season. Death, I mean, if he played the full season, his goal tally would be absolutely ridiculous. So I already got 13 in five games in this one. And you look at league stats, I mean, very good striker, very well known. He calls himself a legend. Some people call him a legend. He's the uh, informed league man. Yeah, he's <laughs> informed league. Percent. But he's got 13 goals in 10 games. So, I mean, that, that rate that Death was at for this week is absolutely absurd. So, well done for him for taking it down. Absolute class by the two unlucky players there for Orlando, leading this Orlando team right now to the top of the table. I believe they are still at. I'm going to go check that for you. Yes, they're uh, still there. Yeah, I believe so. I believe they had a, a clean sweep tonight. That they're similar to Wolverhampton. I'm have, saying, but they might be champions having a six, what is that, eight point gap now between them and Madrid. Yeah, it's, I believe they are crowned champions because yes. we just have one more game night as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Orlando. Big up to Orlando. Champion. Yeah, yep. taking it down. Second to last game. We're going to have a great. Great playoff scene right now. Madrid, Dortmund, only two points separating them from second and third for that auto promotion, that fight on last game day. But uh, especially even looking back towards Bayern Munich and Leipzig, both on 52, trying to get that last spot. Yeah. Well, then Valencia, depending on how their the last game went today, they could be tied with us at Dortmund. Uh, like, so yeah. It could be, it could be a, a three-way race for that last spot. It's gonna be great. But you, you know. You know, Vape's not gonna let that happen. <laughs> Especially <laughs> making team of the week. I see him on the bench there. And another thing yeah. to look out for: uh, we're actually looking to have a double header on Sunday, also, so we can preview some of these big uh, League One and League Two games. Um, we've got oh, Wolves yeah. and Fiorentina playing on Sunday for League Two. And yeah, League hopefully one, we can get that via marketing matchup. matchups. I'll tell I'll tell Logan to sell the the first game so we can have a title fight at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Dorsey, you're not listening. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, he didn't hear that. <laughs> There's no fixing here. Well, boy, this, is gonna, this is my last game of uh, marquee matchups. You'll never see me again. I'm probably going to. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky, Adam. You, you yep. tried hard. All right. Let's move on to the last team of the week for Super League. I'll let Will do the countdown. Three, two, and one. Player of the week goes to Jammy. Well done. Eight games played, 32 Absolutely. interceptions, 20 tackles. Absolutely absurd. I know Jammy's been an absolute unit for that inter defense, trying to keep them in games. Yeah, he's been a huge part of why they've made it up uh, the way they have over the last several weeks. I think they were middle of the table, uh, especially early on. 
and they've just creeped their way up there and they're now kind of in contention so yeah you see the usual suspects in here you know the jammies obviously gummy pcn legend there you got yes. slip and jay's the acquirement from league twos looks like it's paying off for a smoke break there making another team of the week yeah very well done by him and his transfer uh you also see some other people that have been here already this spicy and johnny the dream uh, so a lot of familiar faces on this one uh, and a lot of people you know there was I think quite a few ties in the voting can't remember what Dorsey uh, told me but there was quite a few ties in this one that required additional conversation so a lot of yeah, people no, could have tell you can tell from like the balance out of the league of Super League compared to like a league like League 2 where you have like you know the top four kind of dominating here you only have one player from the top team in Benfica and Classy so you've seen a lot of quality come out from these top players. Absolutely. There's a lot more uh, talent dispersion in the league uh, compared to League Two. Or even League One, really. A lot of the talent in the Team of the Weeks have been those top teams. Mm -hmm. But it's great to see, you know, these not so like top table teams still getting in. And obviously playing very well for them. Yeah. Very well done. All right. Well, Will, do you, and I think that's our last uh, reveal tonight, correct? No other surprises on me? Uh, nothing nothing for you right now, but I'll try to come up with All something right. soon. Uh, Dorsey right. might ban me. That might be a surprise. Get in here, Dorsey. Do it. Do it live. <laughs> <laughs> Just hop in here. You are banned forever. Yep. I'm lucky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us. Thank Adam for coming in and doing the color commentary, adding his little spice on life on this one. Will for... Uh, posting and for all of you tuning in i appreciate y'all everyone stay safe until the next time